Everything we do as a city is done to build upon a truth we all believe in, a vision that is reflected in our businesses and neighborhoods, an ideal we recommit ourselves to every day and never take for granted. To make Ontario the premier community of the Inland Empire, today, tomorrow, and for years to come. The secret to our success has been we have had the ability to manage this city um, professionally. We do it honest and right. Whether it's downtown revitalization, year-round community events, the development of the Grand Park in Ontario Ranch, supporting our business community, or continuing to improve our infrastructure, we've seen Ontario grow and thrive this year, and we're only getting better. The City of Ontario has continued to support and invest in quality family events and programs. Last year, we broke ground on the Ontario Grand Park. This 340-acre expanse will be a focal point for the region and serve as the City of Ontario's premier recreational space with beautiful trails, an amphitheater, a playground, and a world-class farm hub. A lot of parks are great, but a great park is even more grand. Things that bring community, they bring fun, they bring nature. That'll be really a nice amenity for the Ontario Ranch area. Community open houses, like the ones Ontario Fire and Police Departments hosted this year, brought thousands of residents together to get to know our city's first responders. From the summer concert series, to movies in the park, to our Independence Day celebrations, holiday light parade, and Ontario 5K Reindeer Run. Our Recreation and Community Services Department continues to keep Ontario fun for the whole family. The City of Ontario Library produces hundreds of community programs throughout the year. And the annual Ontario Festival of the Arts had over 50 artists, live music, and food vendors. And with over 36 tons of trash and debris, six tons of green waste, three tons of metal, and over 1.5 tons of shredded documents collected during the spring community cleanup days. There's no denying that community spirit is alive in Ontario. Investing in the future of Ontario means investing in the next generation of residents. Our city council has demonstrated their commitment to the children of Ontario by providing impactful youth programming at our community centers and continuing to build strong partnerships with our local school districts. Well, the City of Ontario has a College Promise program where we will pay two years of junior college tuition to those graduating high school. If you are wanting to go to college and get a career, we're willing to help you get there. Our City Council continues to build on the public-private partnerships that push Ontario forward. Thanks to these collaborative efforts, Downtown Ontario will be the new home of the Ontario Montclair Unified School District Headquarters and the expansion of the University of Laverne campuses by adding a newly constructed College of Health and the Randall Lewis Center of Innovation, Social Impact and Entrepreneurship. It's always great to have an institute of higher learning, especially something as esteemed as ULV to have a presence here. We got their law school and then we're going to get another campus of theirs here. So again, it just creates that environment that we're, that we're looking for. The future of downtown is also critically linked to strong partnerships with developers, including Tipping Development, Hutton Kendrew, Brand Pacific Development, and Adept Development. Their investment will make the vision of a vibrant, authentic, and 18-hour downtown become a reality. Build that center G and core right downtown to where it's work, walk, and play, and have fun and learn at the same time. We're looking forward to um, a lot of eateries that are on their way. Employees and students of the university will have options to actually go and eat that will change the look of our downtown. Ontario is committed to providing diverse housing. The Vineyards development by G.H. Palmer will add 925 market rate units on 22 acres north of the I-10 early this year. Legacy Partners' acquisition of a former Kmart site at South Euclid Avenue and West Walnut Street will transform an underutilized commercial center into 300 new apartments. 
And we can't forget Ontario Ranch, which has been voted the nation's fifth top-selling master plan community with no signs of slowing. I think it's popular because we're offering the kind of community that people want to live in. Folks are moving to our community, they're buying these houses, they're taking advantage of the opportunities that we have for quality of life kinds of issues where they know that the city cares about them. The city's collaboration with private partners will make extensive downtown revitalization possible, including new housing communities such as the C and D block development projects, which in total will bring in 258 new housing units and more than 12,000 square feet of commercial space. In addition to Tipping Development's 26 new townhomes. More affordable units are also on the way. The city has entered into partnerships with National Corps and related companies of California. This will add a second phase to the Vista Verde and Emporia Place apartments, bringing an additional 227 affordable units when completed. These are built for families to be able to obtain and have a life that is not only livable but lovable. This will capitalize on the San Bernardino County Transportation Authority's West Valley Connector, a major transit corridor running through Holt Boulevard that will connect downtown Ontario with major amenities such as the airport, Ontario Arena, Ontario Mills, and the Rancho Cucamonga Metrolink. And all that with plenty more room to grow. Ontario is home to more than 11,000 businesses and more than 100,000 jobs. The success of our business community is not just a boon for Ontario, but for residents throughout the entire inland region. With access to ports, state-of-the-art facilities, and qualified workers, it's no surprise that Ontario is the supply chain hub for the Western U.S. Three major freeways, a couple of railways, and an international airport. So. It was by design that we become this hub for logistics. One out of every 14 warehouse workers in the entire country work in the Inland Empire. And in Ontario, the logistics sector stands as the largest employer for the city, accounting for $408 million in total wages last year. There are 243 logistic sites in Ontario that generate $2.7 billion in economic output, support 24,000 Ontario jobs annually, and contribute $1.3 billion in labour income to the region, including the state-of-the-art Amazon Fulfillment Centre in Ontario Ranch. The 4.1 million square foot facility is the largest Amazon warehouse in the world and has created more than 40,000 indirect jobs in the region. Ontario Ranch is also home to new facilities like Uline, Home Depot, VF Outdoors, and Nike. These operations will infuse millions of dollars into the local economy each year and have already created hundreds of jobs. Logistics grew as the community grew and moving into this new Ontario Ranch really helps us balance the entire community. The Inland Region's number one economic and jobs engine, the Ontario International Airport, recently proposed the addition of DHL as its fourth major carrier, joining UPS, FedEx, and Amazon. Our airport supports nearly 28,000 indirect jobs and an additional 71,000 workers in logistics operations in the surrounding area. This year also saw growth across a number of business sectors, especially retail, leisure, and hospitality. The city welcomed Topgolf Ontario, which quickly became one of their most successful U.S. venues. Ontario residents also found themselves with greater food options, like Eureka, Dave's Hot Chicken, Chick-fil-A, Cape Republic, Fernos, and La Bufadora Baja Grill. Ontario isn't just a great place to live and work, it's also a fantastic place to play with entertainment options that are only getting bigger and better. We are going to have the entertainment opportunity. We're going to have places for people to eat and drink before and after an event at the arena. Everybody I've talked to, they're very excited about it. They don't want to drive to LA. You know, they want to be able to come home and, and get to their destination within a half hour. 
popular attractions such as the Ontario Convention Center, Ontario Mills, and Toyota Arena continue to thrive. The Toyota Arena leads the competitive entertainment market with over 250 events and 1.2 million guests annually, attracting top performers such as Kendrick Lamar, comedian Joe Coy, and Morrissey. It's also home to sports teams, including Ontario Reign, Ontario Clippers, and the Empire Strikers. We made the investment in the arena, and it's been overly successful. And we're moving forward, and we're going to get a project I think bigger and better than I ever anticipated. I call it Ontario wide, and call it whatever you want to call it, the entertainment district. Where you have nightlife, mixed uses, restaurants, entertainment. Within walking distance of all the real nice high-end restaurants. I think we've brought ourselves to new heights when it comes to that. The area will continue to cement its future as an entertainment hub with the addition of new pedestrian and entertainment-oriented development that will add 70,000 square feet of commercial space and 700 new apartments. Last year, the City Council entered into an agreement with the Depth Development, who will break ground on the initial phase of this project, building out the first 29,000 square feet. Future phases of the project will include 384 housing units, a performing arts center, a luxury hotel, and Sports Hall of Fame. Other additions to this district include the collection, a development by Lewis Retail Centers. Scheduled to be completed this year, it will include a Stater Brothers, Left Coast Brewery, and a ramen restaurant. To the east of the arena, Land Sea Homes is developing New House, a new master plan community with a combination of townhomes and single family homes that will capitalize on the trendy urban district being planned for the area. Tourism continues to bounce back, and the Ontario International Airport is definitely playing its part. The ONT was recently named the fastest growing airport in the U.S. for the fifth straight year. Passenger counts have exceeded pre-pandemic numbers, more dining and shopping options have been added for passengers, and ONT Plus has launched, allowing non-traveling guests to enjoy these enhanced amenities. For me, the airport's regional. It not only affects the city of Ontario, but it also affects the surrounding cities like you know, Rancho, Grand Terrace, Pomona, Claremont. When you have a bustling, active airport, then you have a bustling, active community that surrounds it. This past year, the Ontario Convention Centre celebrated its 25th anniversary. Major events are scheduled deep into 2024 and beyond, including special programming as we approach the LA 28 Olympics. Occupancy at our local hotels continues to increase, up 3.8% in 2022 and is forecasted to hit 4.3% this year. Leisure and hospitality employment is also up 17,600 jobs year over year. And if you thought that wasn't enough, more big things are happening throughout the city. This past November, Residents voted on the local services measure that created the potential to fund approximately $1.5 billion in needed projects. Projects that could include improvements to our water and sewer systems, construction of and improvements to park attractions, public safety enhancements, citywide fiber internet, and services for those experiencing homelessness and mental health issues. Major Q will help us maintain everything that our community has learned and grown to expect uh, as being residents and taxpayers of Ontario. Investment in Ontario's infrastructure continues with the build out of the Ontario Net Fibre Optic Plan, providing clean and safe streets and increasing the available recycled water lines throughout the city. It's very important to be able to provide that gigabit uh, technology. The future generations are going to require this. Ontario is vibrant and evolving. We're a haven for business and commercial development. And we're committed to continuing to offer and develop the services and programs that provide an exceptional quality of life for all who live, work, play, and visit here. I've always said that Ontario is a big city with a small town feel. We've really brought out the family friendly, the recreation programs, the park, the concerts, the museum. It's always been about making things better, improving, fixing, 
My job is to continue doing what I'm doing, that's serving the people. You can't let anything else distract you from that. Ontario is a very friendly town. It's consistent and reliable. We know how to put business together with relationships and treat people the way they should be treated. And it's a great town. We're headed in the right direction. The community is going to have to grow. And growth isn't bad as long as it's done in the right manner. I've been fortunate to be along for the ride at the right time in the right city, headed in the right direction. And I'm thankful for that.